Hi there, it's Dean. Thank you very much for checking out today's video. Uh, today we're going to do the Hunt for Austin Part 4, or IV if you want to talk Roman numerals. Uh, just to let you know what's happening, it's uh, Friday evening as I'm taping this. I'm in Cambridge, Ontario right now. Just did a stop at the mailbox and I got this to check into. I'll check that out at the end of the video. Now, being that this is the fourth part of our search for Austin Matthews cards, I actually have four packs, four packs of cards. We're not going to do two packs today. Also to show you what's been going on with this, I've got some people that I uh, work with that are into the cards as well. Uh, people have been going over to uh, Tim's and coming back with cards and kind of helping out the collection. At this moment, I have, uh, for the base cards, all but nine. And of course, Austin Matthews is in the mix. Uh, there's some other big name players that I still don't have. So there is that battle that I'm having. <laughs> I do have all the top 100. I am uh, currently, uh, let's see, for the game day cards, I'm missing one. And I believe it's uh, uh, Pacioretty. Max Pacioretty from the Canadians. Goes in this slot right here and no Max as of yet. Um, I'm also looking for a bunch of the Platinum Profiles. I did have my hands on a Crosby Profile and uh, ended up trading with another guy who got me four of the uh, Stat Makers. And I got a lot of the Stat Makers as you can see here. Don't get the steering wheel in the way. Lots of Stat Makers. And when I uh, opened up, I don't video all of the cards that I open, but I do video most of them. And uh, somewhere, oh yeah, somewhere along the line here, I did actually get a clear cut card. And it's uh, right in the corner there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it right out of the binder here so you can see it. It's uh, dealers. As you can see, there's what a clear cut card looks like. I actually have one. Woohoo! Number 10 of the Clear Cut series. So not a major one, but it is uh, one that I didn't have. So that's all that's important. Uh, the only other ones that I haven't touched yet at this point are the uh, um, triple exposure ones. So let's get into these four packs that I got right here. And then we'll take a look at what's in that box. And... Uh, There will be our next video. So I've got Oliver Ekman Larson from the Coyotes, followed by <laughs> Nikolai Ehlers, because I got the clear cut, now I got this card. And I don't know if I have this guy. Ovi, Platinum Profile. Nice looking card. That's pack number one. And by the way, we're going to have lots of codes to give away if you are in the collect to win .ca pool. Uh, Holton Perieko, followed by Braden Holby. And finally, is that Crosby? Crosby, top 100. I was missing this for the longest time. It was the last. Uh, card of that set that I was still looking for and somebody ended up uh, trading me off with it so you know I got one <laughs> okay pack number three we have David Pasternak from the Bruins uh, Leon Dreisaitl from the Oilers and the other top 100 Patrick Kane, and I think I have about 48 of these guys. So, lots of Patrick Kanes. And the final one, the final pack. More top 100s. What, oh, yeah, sorry. Patrice Bergeron from the Bruins. Ryan Johansson. Number one of the top 100, card seven. Sorry, this Crosby was card one. Card seven, Tim Hortons, top 100. On the back, it's the trip, uh, triple exposure checklist just to get under my skin that I 
We don't have any triple exposure cards. All right, and that's it. We'll do another opening on the weekend. In the meantime, let's see what is it. I already know what's in this box. I got a notification for it. So I'm quite aware of what's in here, but I'm looking forward to this. Uh, on Wednesday, I opened up some uh, comic books or showed you some comic books that I get. I don't get a lot, but I do have my favorites. And uh, Superman has, I think that's actually my first comic book that I was reading since I was six or seven years old. Pretty well have kept up with the character over the years. I wish I'd kept my collection over the years. But while I was uh, flipping around on Amazon, I happened to see that there was a, uh, when they started releasing a lot of the uh, collections, that uh, they tend to put them on at odd prices or whatever, and then once everything kind of settles down, that whatever current price is locked in. I did get in on a very good price in this and uh, felt that I needed to get it uh, because I couldn't pass it off. But anyway, it's the Superman Rebirth Deluxe Edition. This has, uh, out of the Rebirth era, this has uh, all the uh, Superman books, collects issues 1 to 13, and the Superman Rebirth one-shot. So that's 14 books in this. Or if you get the uh, trade paperbacks, this is basically the first two trade paperbacks in a hardcover. And uh, looking awesome. Uh, it's $35 American, $45, $46 Canadian. I paid nowhere near that, so I am quite happy. It does have a slip cover. It's wrapped in plastic, so I'll have to check that out later. And that, I think, is it for that. The only other thing I wanted to show you, folks, is that uh, if you happen to be in Canada and you uh, have the uh, option of going to a post office, uh, we got this thing called the Ultimate Six. They are hockey stamps with uh, some legends on there. Uh, Gretzky, Bobby Orr, uh, Lemieux. Uh, got some uh, Gordie Howe. They got different pricing things, different uh, stamp layouts and everything. Uh, definitely worth, yeah, Maurice Richard, Jean Beliveau. If you're a hockey collector, you may want to look into this to see about uh, some stamps that you can get to save. They got a bunch of different display types and everything. Uh, well worth looking into. I was checking out the, the displays of my post office here. So anyway, that's something to keep in mind. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to be having another video this weekend. Um, if I... If you don't uh, happen to check out the channel or you got plans this weekend, happy Thanksgiving if you're in Canada or uh, happy uh, Columbus Day if you're in the States and happy wherever else it is if you're somewhere else. I do know for whatever reason I've got uh, the odd viewer in New Zealand and, uh, you know, because hockey. Thank you very much for watching again, everybody. If you have any comments, leave them below. And if you'd like to uh, watch the uh, last video, I guess it's over here. And then if you want to subscribe, it's over there. I don't know how it works. I've seen other people do it with much more class and uh, ability than I have. And I was going to do this outside, but once again, I decided to pick a time to do a video when it's uh, spitting outside. Uh, oh, as you can see, the shoppers, I just noticed that. Um, anyway, thank you very much once again. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.